hello so welcome in today's video guide so okay you tried installing microsoft visual studio in visual studio code and yes you installed it but it's not even opening or running so what you have to do right make sure you have to go to control panel under programs you have to ask to find where the visual studio code is and you have to uninstall it so and if after install it make sure to follow up this video because i'm going to guide you to, to download the right version yes on your windows 7 operating system or maybe in considering 64 gig 64 bit or 32 bit operating system so on google what you have to do the same way same way which you used to download the microsoft visual studio code which is not working just say visual to visual studio code then you end, is press enter okay so after this one loading you have to click where it says download yes you might have done it before but i will just show you where you get the version which works on your windows 7 computer okay let's just wait for this one to load okay as you see it's, it's me it's, so visual microsoft visual studio or the microsoft whole thing can just update their stuff frequently so that in case of bugs or issues but okay so scroll down and at the bottom of your screen you will find where it says get previous versions it is click where it says get previous versions and after that so now as you can see in this screenshot of them which being which is being showed you see the the address here right you make sure make sure you have to type the whole address and enter it so we're going to just edit this part then uh, i'm going to write updates slash the same way as it as it is, as it is being short then i'm going to write version uh then underscore one version one okay version one underscore five zero then you press enter then we wait for it to load so after loading as you can see this one is a september 2020 version 1.5 and this one is the one which we're going to use you can even choose to use a different version or version 6.7 which even still works because it's it's not currently updated because the one which we're avoiding is the current september version yeah okay after reaching this point we have to click where it says user for us for us to be able to download the, the right program which you are going to install so after clicking it you download button maybe you have a different download manager but it will show up so just be patient with it <coughs> so now that is loading up the download section right we have to wait for it to complete okay so now that the pro the right file we have been downloading successfully what i'm going to do right is i'm going to click on this version 5.0 so i later choose to download 5.0 because my network was being slow so i have to what double click on this visual code installer then i'm going to just minimize everything in the background here then i'm going to select where it says accept the agreement then i click next then okay this one obvious i'm going to click next and next and okay i'm going to i need this icon to be added to the desktop and i need to this one enable ticket because it's something it's a it's an editor which i'm going to be using in the whole programming stuff okay then i'll click next then i click install then we wait for it to complete the installation okay as you can see the installation is almost now complete right then it's going to pop up this box which says launch the visual studio code and let's click finish and this time it should open up visual if you go let's say vs code it will you have to open up and i will just do a test run for you as you can see now on our screen we have successfully installed and you can run a visual studio code on our computer you can even even close this one as you can see i have let me just close this and then click refresh then i'm going to double click on a visual studio code and surprisingly it will run so guys this is how you install your microsoft visual studio code using this method and it is the one which is currently working because you have to choose an older version of microsoft visual studio it might be not that far away but 
if you follow this tutorial and you go to the same website which you use to download the latest latest file you will just end up installing the right and i hope you have a happy program a happy journey through your your stuff online okay thank you for watching if this video was useful for you you see the link below which will direct you to the microsoft visual studio or you can just click the like button subscribe to the channel and it will just make me and you happy so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video if you're a subscriber cheers bye for now